We close tonight with something showing up in cities across the country. It is a $5,500 bike car hybrid called the Elf. Vicente Arenas took a test drive. They run on sunshine and sweat, and they're hard to miss in Durham, North Carolina. Commuter Lori Bush loves turning heads. Oh, I got a lot of funny looks. Sometimes I'll see people with the kids in the back and they're waving. This egg-shaped machine is called an ELF, short for electric, light, and fun. It's a great mix of a car and a bike. It's actually a backwards tricycle fueled by bike pedals and a tiny solar-powered motor that can carry passengers and cargo up to 550 pounds. This is a huge game changer. It's the brainchild of inventor and former race car technician Rob Cotter, CEO of Organic Transit. What we're looking to do is take the bicycle experience and integrate it with car-like functions. Pure pedal power right now? Yeah. The ELF requires no insurance or gasoline and is pollution free. It does 20 miles per hour with straight pedal power. Add the motor and the ELF can do 35. The stop pedaling. And I'm just all this is all power. And it goes on its own. It's yeah. estimated that the average elf driver yes. could eliminate three tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year. This is a hundred watt flexible solar panel. That's In 18 constant. months, Cotter has built and sold 450 elves and plans to triple that this year. Most of the planet, they don't have automobiles. They don't have cars. Some of them hardly have roads. He's poised to scale up to mass production with sales at resorts, at senior centers, and in developing countries. I don't even own a Duke parking pass anymore. I just have a Duke bike permit. Charlotte Clark is a staffer at Duke University where up to a dozen elves park each day. I have only put about uh, 5,000 miles on my car since I've had the elf, way less than half of what I used to. It may not be ready for the interstate, but the elf is making inroads in local neighborhoods where people like Charlotte Clark hit the road every day. Vicente Arena, CBS News, Durham, North Carolina.